so how's everyone's day going? Um, I hope you're having a okay or try to not be so stressful life. Um, I know there's a lot going on and with the coronavirus and, um, you know, just stay positive. That's the key and try to wash your hands and, you know, uh, stay inside mostly if you can. There's people who can't work. Uh, I mean, uh, people who, who need to be working out and have to, so stay safe to everyone. Um, but speaking of the coronavirus, there are a lot of movies, or at least a good amount of movies, are being pushed to iTunes for rent. Um, unfortunately, they're full price, so um, you, I, I mean, I can't watch them all this week. I'll be doing it within a couple of weeks of movies because they're like nineteen ninety nine. Um, but this is one of those movies that was only out for a couple weeks, and then it says, um, it's called Bloodshot. It's a comic book movie, and I don't know who makes it. It's not Marvel, it's not DC, so it's one of those, you know, like how Hellboy was not Marvel or DC. Um, uh, uh, full disclosure, I know nothing about Bloodshot. I'd never heard of him before, um... But what from I can gather from the trailer, which the trailer was okay. I wasn't, you know, sold or bought. So, um, but is that he has nano knights in him that he help him regenerate, and apparently have strong. He's strong and can break stuff like cement and stuff like that, or and punch a hole, some throw one. Honestly, the he Vin Diesel's character Bloodshot reminded me of um, the whole movie. Pretty much reminded me too much of uh, the Terminator movie. Um, there's a woman in here, an actress. I think I've seen her before, but I I, I definitely say that her character is one of the highlights of this movie. Um, I thought she her character was pretty badass. Um, Vin Diesel's character Bloodshot, you know, it, 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 again, it reminded me too much of the Terminator, kind of like a knockoff, um, of like, uh, the second Terminator movie of the bad guy in there where you, you know, turn generous or something. I don't know. It, it, it did take away. It, his character was was cool, and towards the end, it was definitely really badass. Um, I won't say what, but it's it's very interesting. Now, the black scientist in here, he was kind of a, a quirky kind of comic guy. And honestly, I thought he was kind of funny, and I, I enjoyed him very much. Um, I've also seen him, too. Uh yeah, I mean the, the the story the story was good. Um, it had some spotty spot uh, some spotty spots in here, and um, but overall it was a good solid story. Um, not much character arcs to it, but that's not always a bad thing. Um, I do wish there were some more character to Bloodshot, but. You know, for what it is, it was actually pretty good. Um, I mean, the movie wasn't, you know, like, great. Um, but it, it was enjoyable, and it was definitely good. Um, I would definitely get... The CG... Well, first off, the CGI is... Um, you can tell it's CGI, but it's not, like, horrible like like some movies were in, the two, in 2011 I've seen. Um, but you could tell that there's CGI, and there's a lot of spots that of CGI that you could, you know, thought was really cool. And there's definitely a lot of cool scenes in here, with no doubt about it. Um, like, really how they were shot, and special effects, and um, the actual physical effects of here. Um, but, and overall, I, I really liked the movie. I would definitely give this three out of, and a half out of five stars. Um... You know, it had its issues, but saying it's bad is not, in my personal opinion, true. 
Um, it definitely could have some more work done to it. Um, if there's a sequel to it, which I'm hoping there will be, because who knows what the coronavirus is going to, because it's going to uh, for sure already affecting the the um, the box numbers on this. So a lot of other ones anyway, but um, I hope there's a sequel to it. I really did enjoy it and I loved how the en it ended up. Um, a must see for sure. I have not seen a people, other people's reviews on this. Um, personally, I don't really care that much on other people's reviews. Um, this is just my opinion, and I don't base my opinion on other people's opinions, and neither should you. Um, but that is my review, and I will be having some other brand new movies coming out, as I said, uh, with this week and then next week. Uh, it all depends on time and money. I'm going to try to put out Birds of Prey today. Um, so I'll have that later tonight, hopefully, uh, depending on if I'm in the mood to watch another movie. Um, if not, then I'll do it tomorrow. But it's definitely on my next um, movie I'm going to watch. But anyways, I went on long enough. Um, I hope you enjoyed the view. Please like and subscribe. And um, have a good day, everyone.